Hello folks and welcome to App Screencast. Danny here. Got a little quick video on application called Skitch. Skitch is basically a tool for capturing your screen, but what it does do is allow you to add notes to your screenshots if it be text notes or you can draw onto your screenshots, also add arrows, etc. So really can be really quite useful and it's definitely an application what's a lot easier to use than using something like Photoshop to do this. I think most people would find this is the best way to uh, add little notes. So I'll quickly show you the application. It's going to be easier for me to explain it by just showing you it. So let's demo it now. So you've got ability to take snapshots. So that's basically screenshots. You also can take um, shots with your webcam. Or you can import your own pictures into the application. So let's quickly take a snapshot and I'll show you what it's all about. So what I'll do here is I'll show you a web page and we'll take a screenshot of this web page. I think that's where the application is going to come in a lot more useful is for people who are collaborating with someone maybe on a website or on an application and they want to show the the work colleague or the friend basically what they actually mean. So for the purpose of this video I'll just take a screenshot of the web page. If I wanted to I could do the full screen but I'll just take a picture of the web screen with the crosshairs. And there you go. We've got a picture or a screenshot of this web page. Now I've got the screenshot. I've got options to draw. So I can draw anything I want onto the page. Clear all that. I also can draw lines, which can be quite useful. I can draw circles. So when I highlight something, I can draw a circle. Same with the squares, I can draw a square. I can also fill. If I want to fill something, I can do. I can also rub things out. So I want to rub something out. This is just rubbing basically the notes out, any little notes I've made on top of the screenshot. So I can't rub out the actual image underneath. It's more about just making notes on the actual image. So I yeah. can also type some text if I wish. And this is quite useful. I can then add, use I can make arrows. So if I want to point at something, oh look, an application called Sketch. Let's point at it. Also, I can change the stroke size. So for example, if I've got this this line here, I can make it thin, or I can make it big. Same with drawing. Can make it as thin or big as I want. Also, I can change the font size, etc. Also, I can change the colour of the fonts and the strokes, etc., which is quite useful. So you can see there. So now I've I've basically made my notes to my actual screenshot, and I want to send this to a friend or to a work colleague, show them exactly what I need changing to maybe the website or show him what's not working or what I like etc. I want to then email it off so I can go up to file and then I can export it so it'll basically just save it to my desktop for example or then I can or I can do then use mail this and just mail the image if I wish to. If you wish you can use this feature what's called share and this will then share with um, Evernote if you wish to do that but Evernote is a paid service so it's not something I use so I probably won't use that feature also what you can do with this app is you can save all your screenshots like so and you can basically organize them all so it's got a great organizing feature obviously it's not just screenshots you can add to this it also can be maybe scans you've done with your printer so say you've got a scanner you can scan images in then also make notes on top of them them scanned images also you can just use pictures it may be pictures like what you've taken with your camera etc it's free in the Mac App Store, so if you just go to the Mac App Store and search search for the word Skitch, you'll be able to find the application. The icon is basically a heart, so if you see the icon, the heart, you know you're looking at the right application. So yeah, definitely worth a download, pretty much because it's free, but also I find it really useful, much better than using something like Photoshop to add notes to a screenshot, or even using the application Preview, because this has some extra little features. So yeah, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you wish to follow me on Twitter, you can do at twitter.com slash appscreencast. Thanks for watching.
and I'll see you later. Goodbye.